Hello, my name is George, and in today's video, I'm going to introduce the new GeForce 445.75 WHQL driver from NVIDIA. So, um, this driver is a little bit different from what I've been doing recently. Um, this driver actually comes with significant updates, uh, bug tweaks, and stuff uh, that some of the last drivers uh, were kind of uneventful with and uh yeah well i'll kind of go over the features that this uh driver package will provide um just something to know to begin with um if you do have stable driver version and basically any of the games that you hear me list off today if you don't play them don't worry about updating the drivers now if you do plan on updating the drivers uh, i want to say beforehand that you should use uh Display driver uninstaller download utility and the download version for that for the latest version is 18.0.2.2 and I will have that in the description below make sure you do a uh, clean wipe in safe mode and um, Any driver conflicts that you may or may not have will be rendered moot by completely clearing all the past versions of Nvidia drivers that are still remaining on your PC So I do this and I get the performance out of all my new driver downloads from Nvidia so first things first, as I mentioned, this is a GeForce 445.75 WHQL driver from NVIDIA. And uh, this driver also is a game ready driver for Half-Life Alex. I uh, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I will be playing this on my stream in uh, VR pretty soon. Um, Resident Evil 3. Ghost Recon Breakpoints Ghost Experience Update. And also, a big new feature of this driver is NVIDIA DLSS 2.0 compatibility. And this is for just two games. It's for Control and MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. None of which I play, but I do have Control, so I can test it. And if it, if it works, I haven't even played it yet. But, you know, I could download and try it, which I think I will go ahead and do. If I don't see any performance... Uh, if I don't see any huge reason to, uh, to really report back on it, I will not make a, uh, a video, uh, corresponding to that about control. I will also not be playing MechWarrior 5, uh, unless for some reason I do, in which case I'll report on it if, uh, there's something eventful. If there isn't, then I will not. So there's some uh, SLI profiles on Turing uh, that this driver also adds support for. One is Ace Combat 7, uh, one is Black Sad Under the Skin, uh, Blair Witch, Close to the Sun, Hell Let Loose, Journey to the Savage Planet, Monster Energy Supercross 3, MotoGP 19, MXGP 19. 2019, the official motocross video game, uh, eFootball, PES 2020, and World War Three. None of these games, which are, you know, Sans Ace Combat 7, which is a pretty big game, I suppose. Um, but, yeah, none of these games, which are particularly graphics demanding to begin with. So, if you do run SLI, and if you do happen to play any of these games, and you haven't found any SLI or native SLI support for them up until now, like you're trying to use AFR versions, and you're trying to go into your um, uh, go into your NVIDIA settings, and trying to set everything, make a custom SLI profile, then hopefully this will resolve it for you under those games. If you do not play any of these games, like I said, you should not really even worry about it if you're not SLI would which most people are not then you should not worry about it either so um, yeah this uh, SLI profiles will be added for all Nvidia GPUs now uh, the the most interesting addition which is DLSS 2.0 is one is they're they're using some new uh, DLSS features like in the past, it was just uh, it was just straight off the tensor cores. I'm guessing they've optimized some some things in order to extract more performance from it, mainly more efficiency out of the tensor cores for their AI algorithms. Now, I can go in depth, and I will probably or most likely make a video that encompasses DLSS. But I just want to um, DLSS 2.0. But I just want to mention right now that this is a huge feature update for this, but it's very unfortunate. It, that it's just for two games, Control and MechWarrior 5. So, yeah, um, I haven't ran those games uh, currently, but if I do, I will definitely report back on them. Um, I will 
most likely, don't hold me to it, but most likely do an in-depth on what they have changed regarding DLSS. But it looks like some of the same marketing that we saw when DLSS originally got introduced with the RTX series of card and their tensor cores. Um, I'm going to go out on the limb and say, uh, make sure you take this with a big grain of salt. They're claiming that their upsampling technology uh, gives better image quality than native 4K, which I still do not understand how that is physically possible when the data rate from the uh, from the image itself is or has to be supplemented by you know AR AI produced images. So I don't know. Take that for what you will. Take it with a grain of salt. Um, take it as a lie. Whatever you want. If you really do want the best image quality possible, then it's going to be ran without DLSS. But if you want to accommodate RT, any of the RTX features on any of the RTX uh, supported games that are currently out, and it does have support for uh, NVIDIA DLSS, such as these uh, Control and MechWarrior 5s, then I am going to say that uh, there most likely will be a, a relatively significant performance boost boost just from what I've read online uh, but again it's not from what I've experienced so just be careful um, check it out yourself yeah but it's definitely not going to be uh, the same or better image quality than the native 4k um, if there is a significant performance uh, advantage running this on these games then uh, please let me know if you play these games and if you do and you tried it on a 2080 Ti or any of the 20 series card please come back to me uh, in the comment section and let me know what you think how you feel does it run smooth so on and so forth um, I don't really run too many games that has any built-in support for the previous DLSS anyway, so this is almost going to render this a moot point. But it is cool that they are moving on to bigger and better things regarding DLSS because we haven't had or heard any big news coming from NVIDIA regarding how the technology has been progressing and evolving regarding DLSS. So this is a big driver feature update, which means that in the future, they'll be able to implement it into games that already has DLSS and hopefully extract more performance so we can get higher frame rates and uh, we can get better RTX performance because of these higher frame rates. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure to put the uh, uh, the DDU uh, display driver uninstaller 18.0.2.2 in the uh, description below. I will make sure to have this source page in the description below. Um, I will also have the driver in the description below. So if you would like to go and uh, download the NVIDIA drivers direct from the NVIDIA website, which is what I recommend, not directly from GeForce Experience. I've had many people come and tell me that they've had trouble with the GeForce Experience and my default rhetoric is always to go ahead and install directly from the NVIDIA website by choosing your drivers manually. So it's very easy to do. You just go to the NVIDIA website, uh, click on the link that I provide in the de description below, and you just, you know, you pick your own graphics card, um, you pick your Windows version, so on and so forth, and then install the drivers. So yeah, that's it for this one today. If you have any uh, comments or questions, please put them in the comments section below i hope some people come and reply to me regarding uh, control mech warrior 5 mercenaries um yeah if you uh yeah please like and subscribe on this video if you've not um yeah it definitely supports the channel when you guys hit that like button i definitely appreciate it. and obviously yeah there's uh if you do hit the sub button that's very appreciated as well that helps the channel very very much to grow um sorry i haven't been making videos every day i've been very very busy live streaming uh, on Mixer, so I can try to get that partner, and then in turn, I can improve my stream across all platforms. So yeah, if you have any comments or questions that you'd like to ask me in real time with real time response, come to my channel, Mixer.com, Cash Me Out 2. It is in the description below. You can click on it and then come. I'm live every day on Mixer for like 16 hours a day, so you can come and ask me. Yeah, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching and bye for now.